Hey, fourth graders. So today we're going to take our angles knowledge a step further. Now, before we do that, there are three measurements with angles that we have to have memorized, three numbers that we have to know. Okay. The first, I'm going to try, I'm trying to use my grid, but apparently that didn't work out so well, is this. This is a right angle. We should know that by now. All right. We know that that little symbol right there stands for right angle. And we know that a right angle is always exactly 90 degrees. We have to know that. You also know that this is a straight angle. Right? If it's a straight line, it's a straight angle. And we know that a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees. You have to know that as well. And if we have, I'm going to just do it like this, a full circle, okay, we know that that is exactly 360 degrees. So we know a right angle is 90 degrees, a straight angle is 180 degrees, and a circle is 360 degrees. You have to know those numbers. I can't emphasize that enough. If you don't know those numbers, make some note cards or something like that where you can review them and memorize them because you have to know those numbers. You have to know that a right angle is always 90 degrees, a straight angle is always 180 degrees, and a circle is always 360 degrees. Now, we're going to use this information in this lesson. Sometimes we have a picture where we have an unknown angle. We have a known part and an unknown part. So let's look at an example of what that might look like. All right, so we have, let's, it's labeled as being a right angle. I didn't draw it perfectly, but we're going to pretend that I did. All right, we know that this bit is 20 degrees because it's labeled as being 20 degrees. We want to know what is that? We know that this little piece is 20 degrees. We want to know what is that? We're not going to break out our protractor. We don't need to. We've been given all the information we need to figure out this unknown angle because we know the whole thing from here to here is 90 degrees because it's labeled as being a right angle, right? So if the whole thing is 90 degrees, then our unknown angle plus the 20 degrees angle is going to equal 90 degrees. If I add this piece and this piece together, right? Remember, addition is just combining things together. I'm combining this angle and this angle, and it equals 90 degrees total. So I know that if I add 20 to my unknown angle, I'm going to get 90 degrees. Remember, the opposite of addition is subtraction, so I can do 90 degrees minus the 20 degrees I know, and I'm going to get my unknown angle. 90 minus 20 is 70 degrees. So that means that my unknown angle is 70 degrees. Okay? Let's look at another example. I'm going to do another one with a right angle. I'm going to face it the other way, but it's still a right angle, right? Especially because now I put my little piece in there. What if I split it up into more pieces? What if I say that this piece right here is 15 degrees and this piece right here is 20 degrees? And I want to know, well, what's that? Can I figure that out? Yes, because the whole thing is 90, right? So 15 plus something plus 20 equals 90. Right? If I add all of those pieces together, it equals 90 degrees. So I have all the information I need to figure out. Well, I can know, okay, well, let's add what I know. 15 plus 20 is 35. Okay, so 35 degrees plus something is going to equal 90 degrees. So I'm going to do some quick subtraction to figure it out. Opposite of addition is subtraction. 90 
minus 35 is going to tell me my unknown angle. 90 minus 35. Well, ooh, I don't know that without stacking it, so I'm going to stack it. You can do it this way too, right? I have to regroup. That becomes an 8. Five, uh, 10 minus 5 is 5. 8 minus 3 is 5. So that means my unknown angle equals 55 degrees. All right? You guys see how I'm doing that? I just take what I know and I use it to find what I don't. I know that this whole thing is 90 degrees. I know that this bit is 15, this bit is 20, and if I add all three bits together, I get 90 degrees. So I can use that to help me. Let's look at another example. Okay, this time we're gonna use a straight angle. If I have a straight angle, and I know that this part right here is, let's say, um, 60 degrees, what is this part? All right, so let's be thinking in our head. The whole thing, the straight angle is 180 degrees. If this part is 60, 60 plus what number equals 180 degrees? 60 plus 120 equals 180. So that means that my unknown angle is 120 degrees. Okay, and let me do one more example. I'm going to do one with a circle. All right, those are, they kind of look weird, but you still same idea. All right, so if I have, let's say, sorry, I'm trying to just draw this in here. Okay, let's say I have all of these and I'm trying to find this, all right? So let's say that this one is um, 23 degrees, and this right here is 172 degrees, and this bit right here is 87 degrees, because it looks like it's almost a right angle. What's that, okay? So if I wanted to go all the way around, right, I have a full circle. So that means all of them added together is 360. So first, I'm going to add together what I know. 87 plus 172 plus 23. 7 plus 2 is 9, 10, 11, 12. I group my 1. 1 plus 8 is 9 plus 7 is 16, 17, 18. And I have one plus one is two. So I know so far I have 282 degrees. The whole thing is 360 degrees. And remember, I drew this. And so if I get a number that doesn't look like it makes sense, that's just because I drew it, not because I'm doing the math wrong. <laughs> okay. So just keep that in mind as we're figuring out our unknown angle. So then we take 360 minus all the parts that we know to figure out the part that we don't. All right. That's going to turn into a 10. That's going to turn into a 5. 10 minus 2 is 8. 5 minus 8, can't do that. Um, that's going to turn into a 15. So we have 78. Oh, that actually does kind of make sense. So my unknown angle would be 78 degrees because I took what I knew and used that to find out what I didn't know. Okay, that's all you're doing with this. You have to remember 90 degrees with the little box in the corner is... Um, nine is sorry, a right angle with a little box in the corner is 90 degrees, a straight line or a straight angle is 180 degrees, and then a full circle is 360 degrees. They don't always draw the circle on there. I, if you see something that looks like the bunch of angles and you can draw the full circle to get from, you know, like starting here and then ending there, right? Starting and ending in the same place, then that's, they're looking at the full circle part, okay? So that's what you're doing with these lessons. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.